Thanks to Samsung for sponsoring this video. All right, so this is the brand new 32 inch 4K Smart Monitor M8. And let me tell you, the amount of features that Samsung was able to throw in here is unlike anything I've ever used before. Hi everyone, Ta here. Like seriously, it completely makes me rethink what a monitor should be able to do. In the box, you'll get the smart monitor itself, the stand, which comes in two pieces, a USB-C cable, a micro HDMI to HDMI cable, the power cable, a detachable webcam, as well as a nice sized remote control that actually charges via USB-C. So you don't need to worry about buying and replacing batteries. Putting everything together was actually Super simple. Start by using the included screw to make sure the stand itself is secure. Make sure you tighten it until there's no gap between the neck and base. Once you've got the stand pieced together, just slide it into the top edge and push it down until you hear a click. That's pretty much it, you're good to go. I'm a big fan of the stand itself. The flat base here gives you usable surface area to actually store stuff. And it's a pretty compact design, so I can push it right up against the wall with no problem. Oh, and yes, it supports both tilt and height adjustment too. To give you an idea of what it can do, this is the tilt range. This is how high it can go. And this is the low setting. So you can get this in four different colors, warm white, sunset pink, daylight blue, and my favorite, the one I have here, is called spring green. I mean, just look at it. It just makes you feel so happy. When I first picked this up, I was shocked how thin the monitor itself was. Like, we're talking less than 12 millimeters thick here. The backside also has this herringbone styled pattern that, you know, gives it a very unique and modern look. Yeah. This does not look like your typical computer monitor. There are a total of three ports, one micro HDMI, one upstream USB-C port, and one downstream USB-C port. As mentioned, you're looking at a 32 inch, 16 by nine, 60 Hertz, 4K VA display that gets up to 400 nits of brightness. It covers 99% of the sRGB color space, is HDR10 plus certified, and comes with a matte finish to help cut down on those annoying reflections. I've been using this as the main display on my desk for everything, including editing this very video that you're watching right now. Colors are nice and vibrant, especially in the dynamic picture mode. Stick to standard though if you want something a little more true to life. I also appreciate that there are tons of options in the settings to tweak exactly how things look to suit your preference. To combat eye strain, which is actually a serious problem, Samsung also built in an adaptive picture toggle that automatically adjusts brightness and color temperature. For example, if you turn off the lights to watch a movie, the sensor at the front will detect that and it'll automatically dim the display plus adjust to a warmer color temperature. You're able to connect up to two devices at the same time with a wired connection, one via HDMI and one via USB-C. The second USB-C port can be used for data transfer only. For example, I have an Xbox and a MacBook connected right now, and I'm able to switch between them in the connected devices menu. The USB-C ports will also fast charge whatever you have connected at a speed of up to 65 watts. Don't let the fact that this only has three ports fool you because the wireless connectivity options here are seriously next level. Check this out. Let's say I want to look at these pictures on the big screen. All I need to do is tap the top of the monitor here, confirm on the phone, and there you go. If you own a recent Galaxy smartphone, you can take advantage of the wireless Dex feature to create a desktop environment on the monitor. Absolutely no cables needed. What's also interesting is that this actually supports Apple AirPlay too. So with just a couple of clicks, you can easily have a wireless dual monitor setup with a MacBook without dealing with any cables. On top of being able to plug into computers like a normal monitor, one of the coolest and biggest selling points of this monitor is the built-in smart TV experience that allows this to double as a TV. When it's time to kick back and unwind, just grab the included remote control. And the hardest part is probably actually trying to figure out what you want to watch. 
Out of the box, it comes pre-installed with all your favorite video streaming apps like Apple TV, Disney Plus, Netflix, and many more that you can easily download, which means you don't need to connect a Chromecast, Fire Stick, or anything like that. Just log in and you're good to go. It also comes with Samsung's completely free TV Plus app, which offers over 70 channels with a mix of news, sports, and entertainment. You'll also notice on the controller that there are a bunch of shortcuts to streaming apps at the bottom for quick access without having to navigate through the menus. If you're like me and have a hard time choosing what to watch because there are just too many choices, the universal guide interface sort of helps with that. It kind of pulls suggestions of broadcasting and streaming content, throws it on the home screen to narrow down the options a bit. This wouldn't be a good TV experience without a solid audio experience to go along with it. The monitor, of course, has built-in speakers that sound surprisingly good. With adaptive sound, it can automatically adjust the sound based on the type of content you're watching, as well as the noise levels in your environment to offer better audio. So a real world example that actually caught me by surprise, I was watching a music video, right? And my husband walked in and started using a handheld vacuum. The monitor was smart enough to automatically increase the volume so I can still hear my music clearly. When he stopped vacuuming, it dropped the volume levels back to where it was before, all on its own. Yeah, I don't know, I thought that was really cool. The speakers are backfiring, but man, does this thing get loud. It can go up to 100, but I normally have it set to 20 or 25, and it fills up a medium-sized room with no problem. So if you don't have or plan on connecting a set of speakers, you don't have to worry about this not being loud enough. I'm seriously impressed by how loud it gets. Let's say you don't have a computer connected. What if I told you that the monitor itself can sort of act as a computer? You'd call me crazy, right? Well, it actually can. Pair up a Bluetooth keyboard plus mouse to the monitor and with a Tizen OS, Wi-Fi connectivity, plus the built-in Samsung internet browser, you can do basic things like surf the web, check your emails, heck, you can even use Microsoft 365 to access, view, edit, and save your documents right on the cloud. You also have the option to remotely connect to a computer that's in your office or somewhere else to get a little more functionality if you happen to need it. Staying connected with friends and family is also super easy on the smart monitor. Just snap on the included magnetic slim fit camera, adjust the angle, and load up the Google Duo app. It's 1080p and supports face tracking plus the auto zoom function to keep your face in the center of the screen even as you move around. For those of us who want that peace of mind when it comes to privacy, I love that there's a magnetic cover for the camera and a switch at the bottom here to turn off access to the mics. What's cool is that this is probably the first monitor to feature an IoT or Internet of Things hub, which Samsung calls Smart Things. Basically, with just the M8 monitor alone, you can connect and control Wi-Fi based IoT devices. So you can turn off smart lights, start your robot vacuum, or start playing a movie in your bedroom while you make your way there. The monitor actually has two voice assistants built in, Bixby and Amazon Alexa. Like I mentioned, the monitor has integrated mics that use far field voice technology. So you've got a couple of options when it comes to how you'd like to wake up the assistant. You can hold down the mic button on the remote or use a key phrase like Alexa or Hi Bixby for a more hands-free experience. If you go with Bixby, you'll also get the option to use the always on voice mode, making Bixby available even if the monitor itself is off. All right, so Samsung is positioning this as a do-it-all monitor for both work and play. Sure, you can use it to get work done on, but it's seriously so much more than that. It's got a sleek, thin design paired with smart TV functionality, great wireless connectivity options, an Internet of Things hub, and even a built-in internet browser for surfing the web. When it comes to features and functionality, I don't think there's anything out there quite like this. Huge thanks to Samsung once again for sponsoring this video. As usual, thank you so much for watching. Until the next one, I'm out of here.